Ken Lee Frank, the assistant uh, coach for softball, is here with us. Welcome to our uh, little in-betweens chat. And uh, it's good to have you here. First, second year, I'm losing track of time. First. First, first year. year, right. Yeah. And you came to North Central after being an assistant at Moberly. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. How's that, uh, how's that been when you faced them on the field for the first time? Uh, it was fun just because of the girls I got to coach last year. Um, but obviously still wanted to win. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but no, it was good to see them. It was good to uh, get to play them at least. And um, yeah. yeah. So you're familiar with the uh, Region 16 all from your time at Moberly. And how do you gauge this season and the, the, the closeness of the teams as we get to the postseason and how that competitiveness has been this year? How's, how's it been in your mind? Um, yeah, Region 16 super competitive. We faced, um, even as a D2 in Moberly, we faced a bunch of the schools like Jeffco and Three Rivers. And um, I mean, there it's definitely schools to compete with in this region. But I think this year it's been surprising because it's kind of been all over the place. And, um, and schools that, you know, we think maybe would have been a little bit easier, were a little bit tougher. And um, our tougher opponents, we've snuck ones away from them and so yeah it's been good um very competitive though yeah. for sure but how do you see our chances as we go into the postseason uh because like i said they're all in a kind of in a clump there how do, yeah. how do you see that as long as we show up to play that day um i mean we could take it we could take it all the way um i think you know in the last couple of weeks we've really been turning a corner and they always say you want to peak towards the end of your season, and we're really, um, you know, kind of getting over the few humps that we've been struggling with, and now we're we're hitting very well, and our fielding is coming back together, and um, we've we've performed well in the circle too. So yeah. as long as we can stay on that track, I think we could take it if we wanted to. After the uh, St. Charles doubleheader on Saturday, I think it was pretty evident that we hit the ball pretty well. And they seem to be flying out of the park, but you got your fair share of line drives, too, and, and yeah. got some solid pitching from Cassie Rogers. Yeah. Um, yeah, Cassie, the last couple games has just – we've given her the ball, and she's just kind of rode with it. But Coach and I were talking about it just before we walked up here. Is Between the 10 innings she threw on Saturday, it was only 112 pitches. And is that right? She wow. was just very efficient. So um, – and it's hard to take away the, take the ball away from someone who's being so efficient. Right. So right, and I, I know errors have been a big problem at times this year. But a couple of early errors in one of the games, I thought, uh oh, maybe it's going to snowball, but it didn't, and that certainly kept that pitch count down. I would think. Yeah, and that is like that has been. I mean, we have talked about that <laughs> so much in the last probably month. Um, the girls are probably tired of us talking about it, right. but um, it's now becoming evident that we can have a. I call them boo-boos. <laughs> we can have a boo-boo <laughs> and um, we can keep moving forward and it doesn't have to change the momentum of the game. Right. Um, and we did that a lot on Saturday. We would have a little bit of an error, but we came back and got an out right away and that yeah. was big for us. Yeah. What is your job primarily? Which uh, position group do you work with? Uh, mostly pitchers and catchers. Yeah. So, yeah, I work with the pitchers a lot. Um, I call pitchers for them during the game. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we have a we spend a lot of time outside of even practice together. I Not, can imagine. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. What what does it take to be a successful softball pitcher? Um, you have to want to do the extra stuff. Um, For instance, what what extra stuff? Like, uh, you're gonna be told you got to stay like three times a week, an hour after practice, because you got to throw and. Um, you know, you got to want to be able to stay that extra time or the work you're doing is probably not going to be super productive. And outside of that, even that is sometimes not enough. And when you're struggling with something, you have to want to go fix it. Because, um, you know, I can't, I can't throw the ball for you. So sometimes Absolutely. it's a lot of feel and you just got to go feel it out and feel what you're missing or whatever. And get back on track but I'm interested in you calling the pitches because you have to know the pitchers pretty well in order to be able to do that uh, how do you how do you work with the pitcher during the game to communicate all of that stuff um, usually before the game starts I uh, I ask them like hey what do you what's working today like and they'll be like oh hey my my curve today like that 
And usually the first pitch they say is going to be their like go-to pitch for right, me right. for the day because I know that's what they're trusting. Um, and then after that, you know, now we're playing teams twice, so I know like which pitch I need mm -hmm. to throw against that team. I'm like, hey, you got to make sure this is working today. Do you and, chart it? Do you keep track of it? Yeah. Um, record yep, it? Yep. I chart every pitch that's thrown. Right, yeah, right, right. and where it's hit. And so um, that way – we throw a pitch and the girl happens to hit it pretty well, we're not going to throw it there again the right, next time. Right. Tell me a little bit about yourself. You're a native of Greeley, Colorado, correct? Born there? Yep. Live there? Yep. Who, who besides you, who is the most famous person to come out of Greeley, Colorado? Do you know? No. I, I don't, I don't know. How, about Mike, how about Mike McDaniel, the head coach of the Dolphins? Did you know he's from Greeley? I did not know that. Yeah. But, yeah. hey, there it is. There you go. So, <laughs> so he's the second most famous. You're the most famous. But you came to you went to <laughs> Iowa know. to play junior college ball, right? I did. Why, why pick Iowa? Iowa Lakes, wasn't yes, it? Yes, okay. yeah. Um, honestly, I wasn't going to play. <laughs> really? And then uh, Coach Katie called in the middle of the summer, and I was like, you know what? Why not? Right. So uh, a couple months later, packed myself and moved 10 hours from home, and I haven't gone back since. So. Is that right? <laughs> okay, so uh, what was your career like at, uh, there? Uh, I loved it. I love my junior college so much. I have a great relationship with my coach still. Um, it was, yeah, I, up like two weeks before my freshman season, um, I tore my ACL, so I didn't get to play. Um, but then came back. I had a sophomore season, was really great, um, and have lifelong friends from there. Yeah, so yeah, that's kind of what yeah. it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah. So you went on to uh, Missouri Valley then, and I think played a year there, and was a student coach for a year. Yeah. Uh, plus, you did some interning uh, there as well. Tell us about your days at MoVal. Yeah, um, good old Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marshall. Um, it was fun. Uh, yeah, I, I stopped playing just because I knew I wanted to coach later on in my life, and um, my knees needed to yes. stop from catching. So, um, yeah, I student coached with uh, Coach Markham and Coach Logan for a year. It was super cool to um, learn under two completely different people and kind of see it not from a player perspective so much um, and then you know with my sports management degree I needed to have an internship and I got to intern with the athletic department um, which that was super cool because you got to be involved in all the sports there and uh, kind of know what's going on. So, yeah, yeah, yeah I was super involved. You mentioned a moment ago uh, about that transition from being a player to a coach in that one year time. Uh, what were the challenges with that? Uh, probably the biggest part was wanting to pick up the ball and like go play again. <laughs> I still do it. I mean, really? Yeah, yeah. Coach and I still hit with the girls sometimes at practice because right. you, you just have the itch sometimes. Hitting, but, hitting is addictive. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Especially when you're hitting well. So. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. Right. Well, I never had that experience. So, but, uh, yeah. I, I like to hit. Hey, how about uh, what do you do when you're not coaching? Uh, I know you've got a job within the residence halls, correct? Yeah. Uh, but uh, besides your work here at North Central, what, what do you enjoy doing? I um, spend a lot of time with my dogs. Yeah, how many um, and what kind? I have two winter dogs, uh, okay. Bugsy and Slim Jim. <laughs> Bugsy turns four this week, so yeah. she's a big, big girl. Day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we go to the dog park a lot. Um, right. Spend a lot of time outside with them. Um, like to go fishing a lot. Um, do, any, what, do you, what do you fish for around here? Uh, usually largemouth bass. Really? I caught a couple. Yeah, the other day I ponds, caught a, Ponds in the area or where? Um, well, I mean, don't give away your secrets. I won't. I, well, I made friends with the guy at the bait shop here, so he lets me go in his That's private fantastic. lake right back there. I love that. There. I love that. And then um, I was out at Crowder the other day and caught like a, a four-pound bass. It was pretty Holy good cow. size. Yeah, that is good size. Yeah. That is good yeah. size. Well, you're welcome. Uh, um, on our place, we call the ranch. We have two small ponds, oh, and, yeah. the, and and the bass are typically this big but they're a lot of fun yeah so i know them personally because we throw them back in yeah I'm, I'm sure <laughs> yeah. it's the same one time after time you've had that experience right oh yeah sometimes i wonder like am i catching the same fish <laughs> exactly. i just say i'm not exactly. and i'm just catching them all right? yeah, yeah 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 okay so tell me what you want to do with your coaching career where do you see this uh job job occupation uh, leading you oh man i don't know i just take it step by step but um eventually i would like to be a head coach, but um, it's fun being an assistant too. Yeah. Um, Sarah gets to take 
most of the brunt of the stressful things and right. I get to have fun. But you know, you know what I always <laughs> said as a baseball assistant coach, it was great because you never had to say no to the players unless you, you felt like it was okay. Because you can always say, yeah. hey, go talk to coach when you and, knew the answer yeah, was going to be yeah. no. Well, and they always like to ask me because, mm -hmm. you know, like I'm the – I'm the easier parent to talk well, to, yeah, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> and so then, and they know when they ask me, like, I'm probably going to send them to coach. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's <laughs> so what I'm saying. That's I'm like, I'm hey, saying. you know, you know I don't know that answer. Right. Go ask coach. Exactly. And like, okay. <laughs> well, Kenley, thank you so much for taking the time to, to visit with us. And, uh, yeah, thank you. We'll, uh, we'll hope for a real strong end of the season. Uh, Saturday was a lot of fun. We'll see what the next couple of weeks bring. Awesome. Thank you. Kenley Frank has been our guest here at the break.